Peyton Manning wouldn't comment on his future and said he will spend time celebrating with his family, friends, and teammates, which he deserves before deciding on his future. So, Skip, my fairy tale came true. Yes, it did. But should it be over? Should he retire? I, for one, Molly, I don't want to see this fairy tale end. I don't think it should, Stephen A. Smith, unless Peyton Manning really, really wants it to end now. Obviously, he's going to feel far more external fa uh, pressure and familiar pressure now that he and his team pulled off the big Super Bowl upset and he quote unquote won his last game. He can ride off as the sheriff into the sunset if he so chooses and after the game of course his mom said she wants him to retire and his father Archie indicated that he's leaning toward wanting Peyton to retire if he wants to. Everybody said after the game last night, well Peyton's holding off on his retirement announcement so he doesn't upstage the big win by his team. I'm not buying that, but I could be wrong. Silly me. Peyton Manning went through a hellacious hard year this year. Remember, back at Indy, he got pushed out the back door by that owner, and I believe that the great John Elway was slowly but surely pushing Peyton Manning into the sunset this year. And I still say, the, the move of the year, the coaching move of the year, was pulled off by Gary Kubiak in that final regular season game with, remember, home field advantage teetering. And Gary Kubiak, in the third quarter, looked down the bench and said, you, Mr. Relief Pitcher, first ballot Hall of Famer, <laughs> go in there. Me go in for him? Really? For Brock Osweiler? I get to go in and play? Oh, wow. And you know the rest of the story. Peyton pulled that game off, and then I thought he played pretty well against your Pittsburgh Steelers, and I thought he played very well against my New England Patriots. And j just for the record, before I hand off to you, last night, I, I know that the QBR was awful, 10, but Listen, in that opening drive last night, let's give him a little credit because right out of the box, first play of the game, they, they threw the kitchen sink at Peyton Manning and he stood right strong and tall in the pocket and hit Owen Daniels for 18 yards and then he hit Emmanuel Sanders for six and then he hit Caldwell for 22 and they got a field goal. I thought psychologically because remember Carolina won the toss and deferred like uh, we're going to stick it right to Peyton Manning. It was huge for them to put three early points up on the board against a team that had steamrolled obviously the Seahawks and steamrolled the Arizona Cardinals early in those games in Carolina. And then in the third quarter, after the, 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 drop, the Cotri drop and the missed field goal, Peyton hit Emmanuel Sanders for 25 and 17 to, to set up a, what was at that point a very key 16 to 7 field goal. So let's, let's not say he stunk it up last night. He did make some throws. Bottom line for me, we had the report last week from, I think it was from Adam, wasn't it? From Adam Schefter, I believe it was, that the, the L.A. Rams, the new L.A. Rams, yeah. would be interested in Peyton Manning. Well, who's to say? He might say, gee, I was hurt all year. I'm still coming off my torn plantar fascia. Maybe if I get completely healthy in the offseason, what if I want to play for two or three more years and I could be the star on the, the new L.A. stage? I wouldn't blame him a bit. You, you won't hear a peep out of me, like, go home. Who are we to say he should stop doing what he loves to do the most? Does he want to just go play golf 365 days a year? Does he want to do Papa John's commercials the rest of his life? I don't know. Is that going to make him happy to come work at ESPN? I, I doubt it because he loves to play football, and I don't have any problem with that, and I think he and Brady are going to show you that 40 with, with quarterbacks is the new 30. So I'm not sure <clears throat> he's done. Let's calm down with the emotions there because nobody's saying that he doesn't have the right to do what he wants to do. He's a two-time Super Bowl champion. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of this game, who's a member of the first family of the NFL, and he has a lot to do with why they're the first family of the NFL, simply because of the way that he handles himself. He's class personified on practically every imaginable level. He's always been that way throughout his career. We are all aware that whatever decision Peyton Manning decides to make, we have to respect it because he's Peyton Manning. The question is, if you're Peyton Manning, when we sit here and we usually uh, uh, debate whether somebody, it's time for somebody to step away, it's usually based on 
what they are compared to who they were as opposed to whether or not they can actually still play. Can Peyton Manning actually still play? Even going to passing for 141 yards, 13 for 23 in the Super Bowl yesterday, can he play, still play better than most quarterbacks in the NFL? Yes, he can. But according to the standard that he set, is it time for him to go? Yes, it is. Peyton Manning can't, in my humble opinion, at age 39, after all of those neck surgeries, with that extra dust being collected on his birth certificate, to me, Peyton Manning can no longer consistently be the player that he once was. He's just not that guy anymore. He can still throw the football. He can still have moments. He can still direct traffic. He can call plays. He can sit there and protect you from, you know, turning the ball over. He can do a lot of things, other quarterbacks. He's forgotten more than most quarterbacks will ever learn. We understand that. But we're not measuring him against that. We're measuring him against what we've customarily saw. Skip, I'll throw out a couple of stats for you. I'm watching Peyton Manning over the course of his NFL postseason career, Skip, this consistently 68, 66, 68, 69, 69, 65, 74, 69 in terms of completion percentages oh. as a quarterback, okay, in the postseason. Last year, it was 56%. The three playoff games this year, 56, 53, and 56%. Yeah, there were drops against Pittsburgh and what have you. But for the most part, they're relatively pedestrian numbers that he puts up. Peyton Manning can still help you get things done. Peyton Manning is still a Hall of Famer. But he's not what he used to be. Nor do I believe he can consistently be that over the course of 16 regular season games along with a postseason that's incredibly taxing on the body, particularly at his age with his questionable health. I think you go out on top. This is his last memory. I think he's going to announce his retirement in a matter of days, and I think he should. And I'm going to ask you again, who are we to tell this great player what to do or not to do? I, I not, respect your opinion not. on it, but yeah, it should yeah. be his choice. If he wants to perform at the level he's performing at and he's happy with that because it still well, works, then he should go ahead and do that. If he's healthy enough, if he wants to continue to risk his body. I have a question for you, Skip. And it was a completely different subject. It's comparing apples and oranges in your mind. In my mind, it's not. We sat on the airwaves almost two weeks ago debating Bill Belichick and his firing of, a, of an offensive coordinator. Don't get me and started. And my point was, mm -hmm. no, no, I'm just saying, my point is four-time Super Bowl champion as a head coach, two as a coordinator, arguably, the, you know, unquestionably the greatest coach in the NFL in this day and age in the minds of a lot of people. Who the hell are we to question if he wants to get rid of an offensive coordinator? My point is, is that if it's all right for us to question that about Bill Belichick, why is it all right? Uh, is it not all right for us to question whether or not Peyton Manning? Of course, he gets the one to make the decision. We just have an opinion about what he should or shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'm, no, I'm in no position to tell him what to do, not trying to tell him what to do. I'm saying to you, in my opinion, watching him, I think his time has come. So why is it all right for you to question Bill Belichick, but you would ask the question, who are any of us to tell Peyton Manning anything? Why would you say that? Because Bill Belichick doesn't have to face growing too old to coach at this point. He's young enough to coach. That's not an issue. You're questioning whether he's too old to play the position anymore, that he's lost too much. Okay. Clearly, and since you brought it up, I, I have to get this off my chest, so forgive me, Brian, sure. up in the control room. I, I'm going to go on this just for a second. The real MVP of this Super Bowl to me was Bill Belichick because he blew the last two regular season games for the, the Patriots, as we've talked and talked about, and that allowed Denver to have home field advantage in the AFC Championship game, which they, ha they would not have won in Foxborough, Massachusetts, in my humble opinion. So when he fired his offensive line coach, does that mean that Carolina should fire its offensive line coach this morning? Because that's what, uh, by, by your way of thinking, well, Carolina should fire its, line, its offensive line coach right no. now.
No, right? what, no, what I was saying, it wasn't about the offensive coordinator. I'm just saying that the greatness of Bill Belichick, he has the right to sit there and decide if one of his subordinates is doing the job. And I don't think Bill Belichick would fire a subordinate based off of one game. I don't believe that. I think it's a body of work that Bill Belichick must have had a problem with. I do agree with your other point, though, in terms of Peyton Manning is still young enough, blah, 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 whereas Bill Belichick can, you know, I mean, he could coach into perpetuity for sure. crying out loud, yeah. it seems. So I do... I do get your point with that, but my real MVP for this Super Bowl championship for the Denver Broncos is John Elway. Really? After he he's was the, the one guy that brought it all who, together. who pushed Peyton into the background. He's, he he's the one Brock that did it. He, he, he brought it all March. together. He brought it all together. The well, way that defense know. played it, last this night, is my, the way that defense played yesterday, yeah, Skip, from a distance, I believe Denver would have beaten Carolina with Brock Osweiler. Uh, Okay, well, if, you, if, if that's what you want to say, I'll, I'll respect that because I with believe that defense. John Elway wanted to go forward through the playoffs with Brock Osweiler. I don't think they was, would have survived because the kid would have made too many mistakes that Peyton did not make. Now, he made them last John night, Elway. and they got away with them. But. John Elway hired brought Gary Kubiak. John Elway got brought Wade Phillips in. John Elway assembled that defensive squad. That's why I say that. It's not about Peyton Manning. It's about that defense and what John Elway did in bringing that defense together and making everybody making sure everybody knew that this defense was going to ride us to a title, well, not Peyton Manning. I, I, I give That's him, why it's John, I, John Elway to me. I, I give him DeMarcus Ware, bringing him in from my Dallas Cowboys, when I thought DeMarcus was a shell of him. Himself, and he no longer is a shell. Way to go. Okay. All right, we got to go to break. Real quick, though, obviously I wanted to see Peyton leave on a high note, mm -hmm. and I thought the reason that he didn't, he announced his retirement wasn't to upstage it, but you've kind of swayed me now by that by your soliloquy there. I think oh, part of it wow. was that maybe he still wants Thank to play, you. and I think maybe he should still play if he still loves it and wants to. Thank you, Molly. See what you do? You've infiltrated wow. me. All right, moving on. Y'all entitled to your opinions. <laughs> the New York Daily News going with the headline, Wonderful, as Von Miller captures Super Bowl MVP after the break. Eric